Hello, welcome to our virtual meditation. Pleasure to see you today. I'm going to short, start sharing my screen with you for our meditation, which is week two, mindfulness. So let's take a deep breath in and out and smile. So who have you become? You're staying inside practicing social distancing and cleaning yourself. Congratulations, my friend, you become a house cat. Remember our meditation days for the spring were Mondays in the a.m. at 9.30 a.m. and Thursdays in the p.m. at 7 o'clock. Our theme for this week is mindfulness, and we'll have guided relaxation, a reading called The Awareness of Presence, some music, and silence. And if the silence is too long for you, just opt out near the end. Remember last week we talked a little bit about this podcast that friend Lorenzi from the Village of Howard shared. It's uh, Dan Harris, and he's an ABC journalist who has a YouTube uh, presentation, a podcast called 10% Happier. Uh, and it has famous people like Jack Kornfield and Tara Brock. Usually it's on at 3 p.m. Monday through Fridays. So uh, also they have some archived ones if you want to see them. So just kind of be aware uh, you can connect with those. So our daily question for today is, what expectations of normal am I letting go? Well, a lot of people are working from home. Big change. I don't know about you, but Passover and Easter were quite different this year than any other year possible. Energy level, sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low. Want to sleep in a lot, sleep in and take naps. Meal prep has been difficult to find the foods that you want usually. Uh, do you do a lot of fast food or whatever's going on? Entertainment, the TV people are trying. They have a lot of repeats. Even the uh, sports rate of stuff is repeated. So that's, they're trying. And your living arrangements. Uh, some of you are alone and it was fine the first couple of weeks, a month. And then it got, oh my goodness, I'm going crazy. And some of you are with extra family and uh, it was great. And now you go, no, need a break. Well, you're not alone. So today's thought is sit down for a few moments and breathe. Find your quiet and uninterrupted space. Go there. Tinker with the wits, the machinery of your wits, and retrieve your ideas from the mist. Mary Oliver. So let's take those three mindful breaths. First breath. Second breath, how are you feeling? Third breath, what intention do you have today? And smile, like Thich Nhat Khan says. Well, you know, I was thinking and people were talking, what is meditation and what exactly is it? So really, meditation is a practice using a technique. For example, mindfulness or focusing the mind on a particular object, thought or activity is an example of it. We train our attention and awareness to be able to achieve mental clarity and emotional calm in a stable state. There are many, but there are six types of meditation that we might think of. Mindfulness is one. Spirituality, the Christians have it, Buddhists have it, 
etc. Focusing on some part of your breathing or your part of your body. There's movement, walking meditations. There's mantras, and the one I love is sit, chat, sat, ananda, like Deepak Chopra, it's around a lot. And transcendental meditation. So there's mindfulness is a type of meditation. Spirituality is a type of meditation. Movement can be a type of meditation. So mindfulness is the one we're going to talk about today. Mindfulness is being in the present moment. Mindfulness. Thich Nhat Hanh, a Zen master, is known as the father of mindfulness. He's a global spiritual leader, poet, and a peace activist, born in Vietnam in 1926, but he was exiled from, her, from his country for 39 years. He leads a contemplative life, but yet helped others during the Vietnam War, War. He was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize by Dr. Martin Luther King, and lived quite a lot of times in Plum Village in uh, France. He's sick now and had a stroke and is not speaking, so he's now allowed to be back in Vietnam. He's written many, 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 many books. One of my favorites is um, A Handful of Quiet, this one right here. Uh, and he's done mindful walking, mindful talking, mindful eating, just a whole bunch of many, many peace. There's a lot of good ones. So what is mindfulness? It's a non-judgmental awareness of your thoughts, feelings, body, and the environment. All of those. Okay. Namaste. So, <clears throat> what you do in mindfulness is you focus on your breath. Your mind can wander, and, and it teaches you to notice your mind wandering and bring it back to the focus on the task at hand. So your mind can wander, and I mean, I'm sure you've been used to it. When you um, are speaking, you forget what you're doing. That's why I have this PowerPoint. When you're working, you're just manually doing something, and you have no idea where you're going, or you're traveling, you're driving, trying to go to work, and you end up a giant, or something like that. So what mindfulness does is bring us back, bring us back to the present moment. So awareness, mindfulness, it's the same thing. You use your skills to be aware of thoughts. You make a choice where to focus your attention. Awareness, mindfulness. Well, according to Ariel Gardner's study, <clears throat> she says our minds wander 46.9% of the time. It's a lot, my mind does, yeah. And she said, which really upset me, people who have wandering minds tend to be unhappy. I went, what? But if you think of those people who are doing what if this and what if that, and what you know, you're never satisfied. Well, then you can believe that. <clears throat> so what <clears throat> mindfulness does, it helps us be happier, keeps our mind from wandering, and we can focus on the present. <clears throat> it does have a positive impact on our body and our relationships and life. So what's the take home for today? Practice being aware. <clears throat> be aware of your breath, be aware of your thoughts, and be aware of your feelings. Okay? Be mindful. Awareness. Awareness is like the sun. When it shines on things, they are transformed.
So let's breathe and smile. How are you doing now? Scan your body for tightness. I hope you've nourished yourself in body and we are gonna nourish you in soul tonight and smile. So let's begin our reflection today. And take our three mindful breaths. First breath, second breath, how's your gut feeling? Third breath, what is our intention? Let's begin by taking a moment to settle back in a comfortable position. You may close your eyes or keep them slightly open with a soft focus, looking downward a few feet in front of you. Allow your spine to lift and your shoulders to soften. Today, we'll practice a body scan and let's take a deep full breath in and a long breath out, bringing a gentle awareness to your breathing. Notice the in breath and the out breath and the spaces in between. Let's bring your attention to the top of your head and notice the sensations or lack of sensation. Move your attention down to the back of your head, the sides, to your forehead and your face. Drop your jaw and smile. Move your attention to your neck, your throat, and shoulders, noticing what sensations you are aware of. Shift your attention to your arms, upper arms, lower arms, upper back, down the middle of your back, and down farther to your lower back. Bring your attention to your chest and slowly move down to your abdomen. Notice the way your body moves with each breath. Notice your legs and your thighs, maybe the sensation to your ankles, your feet, and toes. Noticing what it feels like for your feet to touch the floor. And bring your attention to your entire body from the top of your head, way down to your feet. And just notice the whole body. Bring 
bring your attention to what it's like to be sitting here right now. Attention to your breathing in and out and gently rest it there in and out. Maybe notice sounds in your environment, the sensations in your body, and any thoughts that arise. Always keeping part of your attention with the breath. You can observe sensations of the air coming in and out of your nostrils or how breathing moves your chest or belly. Or you can count your breaths with every exhalation from 10 to 1 to help you stay present. You can stay with the breath or choose to take it further. To do this, you will open awareness up to your environment, your body, and mind, always keeping the breath as an anchor. Whatever arises as seen, it is non-judgmental awareness. First, notice your environment. When sounds come through your ears, you notice them as they are. You will notice if they create any reactions in you and accept those as well. Then notice any sensations in your body. For example, pain and pleasure, heat and coolness, tension and relaxation. Finally, notice your mind. Your mind will keep producing thoughts be aware of the thoughts coming and going, but don't latch on to any of them. Continue noticing everything without holding on to anything. Keep your breath as an anchor throughout your practice. Our reading for today. The awareness of presence. Silence is not merely the absence of internal and external noise. Within the stillness arises our awareness of presence. <clears throat> we can feel presence in an empty cathedral or standing in a mountain forest, or an open meadow at sunset. As the stars begin twinkling, while the echo of a whippoorwill dances across the woodland valley, the silence soaks us with a stillness that allows us to become aware of the presence of eternity beyond everything around us behind 
everything we see like pinpricks of light breaking through. Remember, you control your life, but also you can control the sound of music on your device, so if it's too loud, make it softer. We're gonna hear Ekonkar. So take those three mindful breaths. Second. Third. Listen to our music.
gently start moving your body a little. Bring your attention to your fingers and start moving them slowly. Body part by body part, come out of the meditation. Breathe in for yourself, breathe out for the world. Breathe in compassion, breathe out joy. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. Today we did mindfulness with Thich Nhat Khan, and next week we'll do Tara Brach, Radical Acceptance with Rain and Blessings by O'Donoghue, John O'Donoghue. Thank you for sharing in this space of reflection for week two of mindfulness with Thich Nhat Khan. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a good week.